images and slash. And then the second part then depends on the field from the database. So I do the same thing. Curly bracket, zero, curly bracket. So what that will do is that will take this image name and plop it, but after the word images slash. What does that field name? What does it say? Data? Data image URL format string. Very consistent with when you, when you create links. When you create links, it's this very, very much the same idea. There's a field that you want to put on the URL, then how you want to format that field. So let's make sure this works. And sure enough, it does. Now, which way do you think is a preferred, which way would you think I would prefer to do it? Yes. Put it in there. Yeah, and why why do you think I prefer that? Only have to do it once. Only have to do it once, right. You know. Um, if I were to decide to move that, if if for example I were to break down that images folder and have images slash products, images slash employees, if it was in the database, I'd have to go and update all my employees' images. If it's not in the database, then and if it's in the code, all I'd have to do is just change that to say images slash employees slash, right. and then I'd, I'd be back in business. Again, you know, whenever you have a question of, 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 of what, what approach to take, again, the, the one that, that leads to more maintainability is probably going to be the right answer. I never say always, but you'd be hard pressed to find a case where a less maintainable solution is better than a more maintainable solution. Everything else being equal. All right, questions about this? All right, I'm going to, uh, we'll, we'll go to lab and uh, we'll go from there.